Hi, welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 16. Uh, last one we had, uh, we've been working on fours, and we're going to be working on fours again today. And this time we had a little bit of the commutative property, and now we're going back to the distributive property, but with fours. And we're going to have a raise, and this, uh, this is often really a there's just a few numbers you have to write down to do it. It's not like the work you have to do for word problems with the pictures and the sentences you have to write. But this can be really confusing to figure out where to put what numbers. So uh, the explanations, I'm going to try and uh, get through them as fast as I can. But you might have to go over them again to, to make sure you know what you're doing. And if you try one, and then pause the video, and then try the next one. If you don't know what to do at all, just watch, watch the first one, and then pause it and then try and figure out the next one and then see if you get stuck you can just watch it and see what to do uh, you might remember as you as once you get going you might start remembering it might get a little bit easier so here's the first one oh, don't forget your name uh, label the, we're going to label the array which is that's labeling the array and then fill in the blanks below to make the true number sentences that's going to be this section here all right, so labeling the array, 5 times 4 is 20. Now this is one row of 4, which equals 4. So you can see that this part, this whole thing is 6 times 4, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of 4. That's this. 6 times 4 equals... The 5 times 4, that's where that comes from, plus the 1 times 4 goes there. This is 20, and this was the 1 times 4, which equals 4, and 20 plus 4 is 24. So you can go back up here, 24. Pause it. See if you can try the next, give the next one a shot. And go ahead and do what you can. And you can always just keep watching. Uh, so for this one, we're doing 8 times 4. 5 times 4, then you can see a lot of times we're going to start with 5s because it's just easy to count by 5s. Even if you don't know what 5 times 4 is, you can count 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. And that's what this 5 times 4 is. It's 5 rows times 4 in each row. I'll change colors here. So now this is 1, 2, 3 rows of 4. Right? That's 3 rows of 4, and that's... 12. And now we're looking at, I'll get another the third color here. This is the 8 times 4. The whole thing, 8 times 4, equals, that's the equal sign, equals the 5 times 4 plus the rows from the 3 times 4. 5 times 4, we figured out that's 20. And the 3 times 4, we figured out here that's 12. And it's pretty easy to add 20 and 12 together. You can probably do it in your head. 32, so we got 32 for the whole thing. It's just a, a way to think of it. If you don't know your facts really well, I mean, we, 3 times 4 is 1. We've practiced a lot. And 3 times 4 equals 12. And this is a 5. And easy to count by 5. So it's a way to split it up into two easier multiplication problems and then add those totals together to get your 32. Number 2. Now we're looking at Matching 
the multiplication expressions with their answers. These are multiplication expressions. They're not equations because they don't have equal signs. They're not sentences because they don't have equal signs. They're just expressions. An expression can just be a number. It could be almost anything, but this, these are just expressions. So what's 4 times 6? Six? 6, well, that's, uh, you know, there's lots of different ways you can figure this out. It's the same as 4 times 5 plus 1 more 4. So but we just did that one, didn't we? Up here, that was 24. And then we also did the 8 times 4. That's the same as 4 times 8. That was 32. And we're halfway done. The 4 times 7. Let's see, did we do that one also? No, we haven't. Okay. Sorry. The 4 times 7. Uh, you could think of that's 28 and the 4 times 9 that one I think we've done uh, nines one of the tricks is think of 4 times 10 would be 40 and it's going to be one less 4 so 40 minus 4 36 that's one of the, like the mental tricks you might do if you don't already know other tricks for nines And number three, the array below shows one strategy for solving nine times four. So maybe if you're not good at your nines yet, or your fours, uh, explain the strategy using your own words. So we're going to just use this, and then we're going to write uh, maybe a sentence, maybe two. This five times four, five times four, that's 20. And then this four rows of four is 16. And then we're going to add the 16 to the 20. One of the things that's nice about multiplying by five, too, is that most, a lot of times you get multiples of 10 for your answer about half the time. So you're adding to a multiple of 10. That makes a really easy addition. You just look at your 10s and you're adding a 0 to the 1s. You don't have to regroup the 1s into the 10s. So you can do that in your head really easily. It's going to be 36. Now we have to explain. So we could say that you know, we're just going to write down what we did. That's all explain has to be. It's just write down what we did. So we, what do we do first? We'll fit 5 times 4 equals 20. And 4 times 3 times 4 equals 16. So 9 times 4, remember that's what we're trying to do in the first place is 9 times 4. So 9 times 4 equals 20 plus 16 equals 